We continue learning Rabbi Yaina's Shari Tshuva. We're up to page 473 in the article edition, and we're in the middle of explaining one who is a leader, who's imposing excessive fear, he that unfortunately from his place of haughtiness is causing his ultimate destruction. Rabbi Yaina concluded with piercing words that Gaiva, even without acting upon it, is destructive as well. Continues Rabbi Yoyin of Asheni and the second reason why one who imposes terror on people is horrible from his own perspective is Ki adam chayv a person is obligated to focus, to zero in his machshavah, his thoughts, lahashkin belibai, to make rest, to set, to instill belibai. In his heart, aim of a year of Mofnei Hashem Yisparach. Oh, and fear in front of Hashem, while Rishayim Namar says about the Rishayim, V'loi amru b'levavam nira nos Hashem, they did not say in the heart, let us fear Hashem. V'yish anoi sin chaitan soi b'aretz ha'chayim, he who places fear on other people, Shaloi l'shem shamayim, Eim b'levo yim of Mofnei Hashem, he clearly does not have aim of fear in his heart in front of Hashem. And he so much doesn't fear God that he wants to impose his own manly, haughty fear upon other people, other people who are creations of Hashem. And this instead, instead of figuring out a way to gather his mind and his heart and his problems in order to figure out how to fear Hashem, he does exactly the opposite. He arranges himself and he thinks and he plots and he ponders for which verb is the exact opposite. Al-Am Hashem Yisparach and Hashem's people are slowly realizing why such a person, this diabolical creature, is such a horrible person utilizing his power to control people. Ben Amar proves that Ben Yerina Moshe Ba'adim Sadiq Moshe Yeras Alikim roll over a man as a Sadiq or fear because the fear of Hashem rules. Peers, what does this mean? Royally as Moshe Ba'adim Sadiq. A righteous person who is, is fit to be a ruler, because he rules from a place of Yeras Hashem. He doesn't rule from a place that he wants to rule over people. No, but it's his Yeras Hashem that causes and rules over them. Because he's a tzaddik. He fears God. Who, excuse me, therefore, so people who are fear him, why do they fear him? Because he fears God, but not because he imposes himself on him. So those are the two reasons why imposing yourself and other people is horrible from his personal perspective. Now continues Rebbein Yoyin of Ashlishi, the three reasons, Panim Sheim Mitzad Ha'am. This is horrible from the people's perspective. Ha'echa number one, Kiyu Mitzayir, Sassibur Ba'atol, Sayyim Asai. He causes fear on the people when he poses his, his, causes pain, Tsar, when he poses his fear on them. And Emrav Lo Sayyim Shazim Misa, you can't cause someone pain. For all Indian, Tsar, with Dvarim, and Shebran, and Kvar, that's causing someone pain with words. Fa'ashaini, and the second reason why this is horrible, Kikama Machshadim Ba'am Misibur Ba'atol, Sayyim Asai. How many pitfalls arise? Why? Sharei, famously the story of Legish Beveva, the husband placed excessive fear on his household, not Lashem Shemayim. The Yibil Kamar of Avis Yisrael, and it caused a terrible calamity, a whole domino of events. So we see, Mitzad, the people, why imposing excessive fear on them is horrible. Part of the reason is they end up doing things just because they're afraid of you, doing the wrong things, etc. We'll pick it up from here. Bisiata Vishmaya.